Hey O fans, Sam here with Olight Canada. Happy New Year! The January flash sale starts right now for VIPs and in 24 hours from now for the all access sale. Now I know there's a lot of people out there saying New Year, New Me, but what O fans are saying is New Year, New Baton 3. The 3 Pro Max is being released right now. Let's talk about it. Now, the Baton 3 Pro Max is the bigger, brighter brother of the Baton 3 Pro that you might already be familiar with. It's bigger, it's brighter, and it's also more refined than the previous model. Let's talk about those three things in order. Uh, firstly, it's bigger in every dimension, but only slightly, and for a very good reason. It's about 3 millimeters wider, so not much change there. It's about 14 millimeters taller, which is about the height of an Open Mini, and it's about 45 grams heavier, which is about the weight of four purple O-Pen Minis that you can also find during the January flash sale. Now that change in size is well worth it when you consider the reason. The reason is a much larger battery. From a 18650 battery that you're all familiar with to the 21700 battery, which you're also familiar with, from full-size lights like the Perrin 2 and the Warrior 3S in orange, which you can also find during the January flash sale. The old 18650 style of lights, they're still popular, they're still around. You find that battery in the Warrior Mini 2, among others. So, do you want a bigger battery, or do you want a smaller light to carry? That's something that you got to ask yourself when you're thinking about the Baton 3 Pro Max. Okay, that covers bigger, let's talk about brighter. Now, the Baton 3 Pro Max will do 2,500 lumens of output for about a minute before it starts to dim down due to battery voltage. Now the Baton 3 Pro, on the other hand, only does about 1,500 lumens for one or two minutes before it starts to dim down as well. So a lot more output out the front of this thing than the previous model on turbo. But, you know, turbo only lasts for a couple of minutes. Let's talk about high mode. Now I was very impressed when the Baton 3 Pro um, could do 600 lumens for about 120 minutes. I thought that was very impressive. But with the bigger, better battery, you can do 800 lumens for about 240 minutes. So that's 200 additional lumens for about one hour additional runtime. That is a huge increase in your capability. Another important discussion to have is the difference in the beam pattern. Now the Baton 3 Pro has a very round, defined hotspot just like many other batons before it. Now the Baton 3 Pro Max takes a different approach. The hotspot is a lot less defined, it's a lot more spread out to give more of a flood beam profile compared to the hotspot beam of the Baton 3 Pro. Now what does that mean in everyday use? Well the Baton 3 Pro does throw a bit further down range. This is a lot nicer to work with up close. I would compare the differences as being pretty much as stark as the Warrior 3S versus the Perrin 2. This being a flood beam pattern, this being a throw beam pattern, these two are more alike than these two. So it kind of depends on which you want to carry in your pocket. Something that's a flood beam profile for close up to medium work or something that is sort of a jack of all trades. You can still use it close up. You can get a little bit further downrange when you need to. This being a great multi-role EDC. This being more of a dedicated work EDC. Now all this talk about bigger and brighter sort of alludes to a philosophical discussion about size and weight constraints as well as firepower versus mobility. Shoutouts to the Lieutenant Colonel for that one. Now, in my opinion, do I want to carry something that's slightly bigger with uh, a huge amount more capability or do I want to be a little bit more conservative in what I carry in my pocket that still represents a good capability? Well, you know, personally, I don't mind carrying something a little bit bigger with a familiar form factor, with a familiar user interface uh, that has a bunch more capability. So this would be my choice every time. Your mileage may vary. Now one of the most important differences between these two models is the proximity sensor. The old model originally had a proximity sensor. It was a little finicky, so subsequent models, that sensor was removed. All of the problems that were sussed out during the production of the Baton 3 Pro 
have been completely alleviated on the Baton 3 Pro Max. This proximity sensor works great. I think it's the best of all the proximity sensors that have been on Olights thus far. It's an excellent safety feature. But Olight has listened to your feedback. If you don't want that safety feature, you have the ability to semi-permanently remove that safety feature from this light. So if your personal preference is no proximity sensor, that is very easy to accommodate. All you gotta do to eliminate it is to go ahead and plug in your charger, whack the charger onto the tail cap of your Baton 3 Pro, Enter lockout mode by pressing and holding the light until the light goes on and off. Remove the charger. Take the flashlight out of lockout mode. And now there's no proximity sensor. You can uh, proceed unmitigated into that good night and uh, hopefully nothing bad happens to you. Now me personally, I'm a bit of a safety guy, so I would want to have that safety feature on at all times. So again, you just on the charger, enter lockout mode, take the charger off, get out of lockout mode, and then you're all the way back to a really well-performing, very safe proximity sensor. I also wanna talk a bit about the accessories that you get in the box. Of course, you get the pouch, to carry your accessories. You get a really cool all black um, MCC3 charger for magnetic tail cap charging. And you get the L bracket, which is really cool for um, storing your light uh, ready to go when you need it. One other cool feature that uh, the new one has that the old one doesn't have is uh, the voltage indicator. Previously you had to turn the light on to get that voltage indicator to come up. But on the new one, all you gotta do is just give it a little shake and the voltage indicator will light up. This is a pretty neat feature for helping you find the button in the dark. It also is just really convenient that you don't need to turn the light on to understand where your voltage is at and when you need to charge. And there you have it folks, a quick comparison between the old Baton 3 Pro and the brand new Baton 3 Pro Max. The VIP sale is on right now, olightstore.ca, so use the link below to check it out. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments.